Hi folks, Naito Nelson here, and I am back in North Carolina today for my annual trip to Deals Gap to ride the tail of the dragon. The problem is, it is raining cats and dogs right now. And it is probably not going to stop raining until later this afternoon. So, let's see what happens. But bringing you guys along this time again, and hopefully we'll have a good time, get some uh, interesting rides in. Gonna do a little bit more than the dragon, of course. And I'll bring you guys along to enjoy. Hi folks, Naito Nelson here, and I am back at the tail of the dragon today. I got a backseat passenger, and we are running through on our first run for the day. Now this is the first time in many years since I've had someone on the back come through here. Thankfully she's feather heavy. So, that's not a great concern, but it certainly is something that I need to be conscientious of. So, with that said, I'm going to talk a little bit about riding with the passenger. And the first thing about it is making certain you both know what the expectations are. And here, <laughs> no better place to have that set in mind before you head out. A good passenger needs to know how to read the road ahead and react to it. Know that they are going to be leaning with you, not against you, when going through the turns. And that you have got to make adjustments as you go that they have to conform with. Whoopsie! So, I'm actually going to save this video for later because I'm losing concentration trying to talk.
son of a... Oh, great, now I can't start the bike. Because my battery's dead. Okay? I'm good, just, well, try to get out, and now my battery's died. Huh? I, to, I gotta get moving as, I'm gonna try a push start. You, I think I, no, I think you took my jumper cable. Well, you know what? I'm close enough. I'll give a quick call if I can't get the push start to go. Okay. Thank you. Hi folks, Naito Nelson here, and I'm just having a great day. <laughs> Honestly, it's been up and down, but I'm still having fun. Back here at the Gap, this is day two. I'm not recording every day, I'm trying to enjoy myself a little bit, without having to focus too much on recording and the fact that the weather was horrible yesterday kind of made that an easy solution but now as I'm getting ready to run to the market my battery died so for the first time in as far as I can remember I had to bump start my bike thankfully it worked because here I am on my way to the market. And right now I am riding the Cherahola Skyway from this new location we've uh, decided to stay at, which is quite nice. And I'm gonna run into Robbinsville to the local Ingalls Market. Maybe stop and get couple shots of some spots on the way to or from because tomorrow it's supposed to rain again all day the weather this trip has not been really nice I know last year we got rained on quite heavily oh look at that but it wasn't every day all day it's been overcast today but really just some sprinkles at its worst whoa what's with the buff having some proper problems here oh this isn't feeling good I've lost power.
How can I be out of gas? What is going on? This is super rough. I need to check my gas. I gotta pull off over here. Ah, oh, geez. And I have no signal. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> Great video. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Nobody is getting my SOS. <laughs> Great day. I'll give this thing five minutes before I try to flag somebody down. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of motorcycling. It's not always perfect. I don't get it. How can this battery be so dead? Alright, let me flag down. Let's focus I can. No, actually I'm not. Bike's dead. Right, these nice folks are going to help me out. My only other concern right quick is to pull my cameras off of there. Yeah. I'll be right back. Thank you. I appreciate it much. I'm Nelson, by the way. Reese. Reese, nice pleasure to meet, to meet you. I'm Linnea. Nice Linnea, to meet you. thank you so much for stopping. No, oh, absolutely. You have no idea how much I no, appreciate it. How long have you been here? Uh, probably about five, ten minutes. Oh, that's not okay. too bad. No, it's not too bad, but the, the, the worst thing about it is my Sorry, friends... Oh, no, no. It, it, there's room for me to call in. I'm good. <laughs> okay, I gotta that. Nah, we'll put it here for now. Um... My, uh, since as I was leaving, we're pulling in, and it just died. I'm like, oh, I'll bump start it. I'll be good. And here I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, uh, if you don't mind, my camera's rolling. I do a little YouTube thing. Yeah, sure. Do you guys mind being on it? Uh, no, I don't sure. Care at all. Fine. Fantastic. Thanks. It's part of the adventure I'd like to share. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Nice Liz, thank you. you so much. Oh, absolutely. Linnea. Linnea. I do it with Linnea. Thank you both. Oh, you guys have a great trip, all right? You too. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Reese and Linnea, you guys rock. Help! Bike died. Did it hit the ground? <laughs> nope, everything's... We came down here trying to help you. Where's the bike at? In a, right, right, off, the right, off, uh, right next to the river on Snowbird. Next to the lake? Yeah, river. In the lake, I mean? No. I'd be we drove down to the lake and you were gone. So <laughs> it was going fine. All of a sudden, just lost power. You don't know the side of the bridge. Yeah. No, I didn't go to the side of the bridge. No, we went to the f***ing blue board thing and turned. Yeah, no, I'm like three miles past that. Three miles past that. Where's the bike? The generator gave time? out and just died. No. <laughs> Wonderful folks, just pick me up and give me a ride. Are you push the bike all the way back? <laughs> I'm so. Disappointed. <laughs> so you, you sound you think, like you pushed the bike back. So I did. The generator died and the battery died. I, the battery. So I, I bump it's only got like it. 300 miles on it. I bump started it because it died on me at the, at, the, at the edge. Bump started it, got going. It's going along fine. Started to feel the power give. It's, like, it's got gas. So I gave it a little gas. It's playing with the throttle, the uh, the uh, idle. It just died. So. It'll turn on, and as soon as I try and start it, mm -hmm. yeah, dead battery. Mm. Yeah, I'm dead, not sure. It's a dead cell in your battery. Yes. Okay. I'm not arguing with you. All right. That's so, the easiest thing. I don't know if that'll do me any good because I'm assuming I'll have the same problem coming back. What you need is a battery for motors. Well, I need to get the bike back. Mm. So. That's probably. Is that the quickest, easiest? The little red thing. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ken, turn your car around. Real men. And me. <laughs> Lucky enough to have these guys as friends.